my little cousin Ubaldo actually welded up the cold air intake that um, I lost the bottom piece a, a few days ago. So I, I've lost because it on race the freeway. Car. Yeah, you know, because <laughs> daily driven. Because driven, right? So. All right, welcome back to Automotive Anatomy. Uh, today, I uh, have the pleasure to be with Mr. Gabe. Hey, what's going Mr. On? Gabe, thank you so much for us. making time for us. Thanks for making time for me. And um, so tell us, man, what do you drive? So this is my 2005 uh, AP2. Um, I bought it back in 2008. I'm the second owner. I got it off of a lease. It was like 3,600 miles on it. Wow. Currently, yeah. Currently, it has... I'm, uh, I'm about to hit 170,000 miles. So you so, definitely, you pretty much own the car. Yeah, I've owned the car. I've driven the car, daily driven it, tracked it, gone to shows more recently and whatnot. But um, yeah, it's had a pretty long life. I've, recently, ever since I did this phase of the car, because it's had several phases, Okay. Um, I focused on more of restoring it. So like when I painted it this last time, this Do you color? mind sharing the, the, the name of the color? Yeah, so this color is an OEM Jeep color. It's on the Jeep uh, Wrangler, the Jeep Grand Cherokee. It's called Rhino. I don't know the actual number for it. The code. But, I do but yeah, with that info, but yeah. With that info, you that's more than enough if you like the color. Um, but when I went with this phase, uh, I ended up trying to just make sure it was more restored. So it's like new headlights, new taillights. Um, it's a rep top that I bought like literally like nine years ago because somebody tore my top but i went out and i got ballot sports rear window because i hate the lexus window. so okay so it came with the soft top right it came with a soft top and yeah. then so what kind of hard top is this so this is uh this is a rep top i don't even know which company made this rep top because i bought it off of a friend it's a double-sided carbon and i bought it off of a friend back in 2010. Mm -hmm. um so i mean this top's like eight nine years old like i've had no need to replace it for it haven't replaced it mm -hmm. for like a real one or an OEM one, but um, it's done well, so I, I don't. I just it's don't, been good to you, so it's been good to me, so I don't really worry about it. Okay. But what I did want to do is upgrade the glass. Um, I hate the Lexan window, how it stains, and the glass is so much cleaner. I can remove the stickers, and then the glass is clean. If I do that on Lexan, it stains. The sticker marks will stain the the, the glass. So in this third phase, um, is. You know, it's just stock yeah, this, bumper. So this lip. third phase, I decided to. I know it confuses a lot of people, but it's basically an AP2 with AP1 front bumpers. Mm -hmm. That's a, a replica gears lip, but um, those are super super hard to find. This is actually a polyurethane version of that lip, made by Rockstar Garage in Ontario, and um, I just wanted a clean, more subtle look and throughout the phases. I've gotten married, bought a house, had kids, so I needed a more subtle, more classic kind of look. I mean, I can't go to the track, you know, three, four times, you know, a, a, a month or something like that. Like some people go like all crazy. I would like to go to the track again. Um, I'm waiting for this paint to get a little more beat up so that I can go do that. But for now, I'm just doing shows, just enjoying stuff hanging out with friends, going to the canyons, just really enjoying the car. So tell us about your wheels. I know you have mixed match. Uh, so yeah. So what do you these, have a front? So these front wheels are, these are 17 by nine that you're looking at. They're Mugen MF10s. They're from the new re-release. Uh, they're on Nitto NTO1s. They're 255, 40, 17, just in case you need the specs. Um, this setup will not fit stock body. This is not a stock body car. This fender, these fenders, they're downforce fenders. And you can see right there, they're 30 millimeters wider than stock. So this setup will not fit stock body. I love how it's, it looks OEM It though. looks stock body, yeah. yeah. I get that question a lot. What's your specs, what's your specs? And it's not like I don't want to give out the specs. It's more like, here are the specs, but it's not stock body. Try it and it won't work yeah, because won't of this. Work because it's mostly because of the tire. The wheel will actually probably fit. The problem is that I have um, 15 millimeter spacers on it. So there's extended studs. 15 millimeter spacers on the front to make it even more flush. And I've done a couple other little trick things to just make it like super, super on the money. I mean, it's, it's yeah. super tight, you know? Cool. In the rear, these are the evasive spec T37s. These are 17 by nine and a half plus 41s with a 10 mil spacer. Um, they're also a Nitto NT01s, 255, 40, 17s. Um, these also will not fit stock body. The, 
the rear fender a long time ago I had rolled and pulled out and then work when you pull the fender out this way the fender will dent here it'll mm -hmm. buckle inward so this this kind of work definitely requires a body shop to make it work um it's not something that you can just plug and play but if i mean if you're willing to make the sacrifice for it, <laughs> it's gonna look great obviously what kind of suspension are you on so i'm on function form type twos okay um i and and i have the standard setup i don't have anything special I didn't do anything that you couldn't buy off the shelf to do yourself. There's nothing, at least I, the way I feel about my car, there's nothing special done to it that you couldn't do yourself. You just have to put the time in. That's okay. all you have to do. Cool. The rear has a AP1 rear bumper as well. I just really like the classic look of the AP bumpers, the AP1 bumpers. Um, the AP2s are cool, but I, I feel like this is more of a classical look. I feel like the AP2 looks a little more aggressive, honestly. But I do like the AP2 taillights, which is the reason why I kept the AP2 taillights and didn't try to convert the AP2 oh, okay. taillights. Um, yeah. As far as this spoiler, the spoiler is made by Mo Perfume Exceed Japan. It was released uh, last year, 2017, in October. Um, I had my friend Yazu from Japan, um, who actually builds it, um, bring it in, and he let me know when they were available for US market. He brought six, four or six last year. Mine was one of them. They're available in carbon or in fiberglass. Um, this is a fiberglass one because I was gonna paint over it. Uh, I just like the subtleness of it. It's something between the Taman wing, something between the Mugen first generation, like the Mugen first generation does this curvature like that. Mm -hmm. I've always liked that. I like that, but it just still has that Taman angular. And if you come from the backside, it mounts into the third brake light, so it deletes the third brake light. But the way it has this curvature and the way it mounts to the bottom, it kind of looks like the backyard special wing. So it's kind of like almost like a blend of three different wings mm -hmm. styles into one. Oh, it flows perfectly. Yeah, it's I love beautiful. the way it flows. I, I the lines he picked and everything were just yeah, they're great. Cool. They're great. All right, man. Tell us about the engine compartment. Okay, so in the bay, um, it's basically a stock AP2 uh, engine. Um, I've done all the bolt-ons. I used to have the Skunk 2 Mega Power header. Unfortunately, right now, I'm at the OEM one because I broke it the last time I tracked it. Um, <laughs> I had broken motor mounts, and the engine would shake side to side, and the header would hit right here where the paint rubbed off, and it cracked the welds on the Skunk 2 header. Oh, wow. But when the Skunk 2 header was on, my boy um, at KV Tuned on Instagram, okay. um, he tuned the engine, and... Um, it made 30 over stock. 30 over stock with a cold air intake, 70 millimeter skunk two throttle body, 550 cc gram injectors, um, AEM fuel pressure regulator, skunk two mega power header, test pipe, and an evasive 70 millimeter SSP exhaust. When we first dyno tuned it, it made 196 to the wheels on a baseline run. And ironically, when we were done, it did 226 and like some chains, like wow. 0 0.2 or something like that. So 30 over stock. It, it feels like a really healthy S2000 motor. It's not something abundantly fast, but definitely something that feels, it almost feels like it really healthy, like the way it should have been. It doesn't feel like <laughs> super crazy. It doesn't feel slow, but it doesn't feel like supercharger. But it feels turbo healthy. Yeah, it, yes. yeah. It's a very snappy motor. It has a lot more mid range torque to it now That's that awesome. we did the tune. Yeah. Hey, uh, what are the future plans for it? So, um, future plans for it, honestly, uh, I'm, I'm, it's a toss up. But a piece of me wants ITBs and a piece of me wants um, uh, a supercharger, HKS supercharger. So, I don't know. No. I don't know. NA is best. Yeah, I know, I know, right? <laughs> right? Yeah, so I'm just kind of like on the fence right now. As far as power and things like that, I'm, I'm not really, that's not really my goal. What I do have gold for the bay is there's a lot of little dress up and a lot of detail that I want to do to the bay. So um, new valve cover, um, custom fuel lines, new fuel rail, and just a lot more cleaning up. I know it looks pretty clean now, but the goal is to get it a lot more streamlined than what it is okay. right now. Carbine, it's a carbine cooling plate, coil rad radiator, uh, Mishimoto uh, fan shroud with fans. Um, and then you've got the Renegade Motorsports uh, overcoolant, overflow for the reservoir. Yeah. yeah, reservoir. And then um, just a no-name brand catch, catch can. can. Uh, my little cousin Ubaldo actually 
welded up the cold air intake that um, I lost the bottom piece a, a few days ago. So I, I've lost because it on race car. Yeah, you know, because <laughs> daily driven, because driven, right? So it's one of those things. But um, I will one. I actually he's welding a new one up for me. All right. Yeah, but um, yes, it, it sees reservoir covers for my friend at, at Seas Customizing Cooper. Um, that's a Chasing J's titanium uh, spark plug wire cover and titanium bolts. Um, and yeah, I mean, I've got Pallet Sports timing chain tensioner, ASM oil filter stopper, and um, just a lot of little skunk tooth things like the radiator lines, the throttle mm -hmm. body, the thermal gaskets for the intake manifold. Um, the intake manifold was also port matched to the throttle body. So that's cool. those are all the things that I needed to make the 30 horsepower. I also have a Ballot Sports uh, tucked AC lines. Um, I tucked the bay myself and I also painted the bay myself a while back ago. Um, oh, wow. Yeah. Good so thanks. Thanks. Yeah. And it's just one of those things where um, just those are the things that I wanted to focus on when I redid the car. I need to get a new set of headers. I mean, that, that header is the OEM one, and I want something a little more up. So those are the things that cool, I need in the new tune. So interior-wise, um, that's a uh, Momo Prototipo steering wheel with NSXR horn button. Um, oh, the cool. reason why I chose the Momo Prototipo is just because I've seen it on the ASM website, on their blog, and they've mm -hmm. got it on a couple of their cars. I really like the wheel. It's a really classic-looking wheel. I also have the Circuit Hero... Uh, the steering boss for it and my my boy at type one mikey got me that carbon fiber plate so that i could put it and my friend moses at nagas de fierro got me asm bolts the last time he went to japan so we put those together that's a renegade motorsports short shifter uh, along with the extended uh shift knob made by renegade motorsports and that center console carbon fiber center console delete is also made by renegade motorsports renegade um Otherwise, interior-wise, it's just a stock seat, ballot sports, uh, rear roll cage, half cage that still incorporates the OEM seat belts oh. and all the OEM seat belt mounting pieces and a Recaro RSG. I like the RSG just because of the styling a lot more than the SPG. It's like an updated version of the SPG. And um, the I know everybody does the pole positions, but it just it's such a basic design. I don't really like it all that much. <laughs> I feel like the RSG is a better, a better look. Oh, super so clean. yeah, interior wise, I don't have very much other than steering wheel, um, the hub, the cage. It's a double sided uh, carbon fiber top that you can see there, mm -hmm. and um, really yeah, it's just the cage, the seat, steering wheel, and then just the air fuel ratio. Any future for uh, plans for the interior? Um, yeah, I plan on getting some dimple dyed um, pedals, dimple dyed floor plate. Um, just redo a couple of things mm -hmm. and do some reupholstering. I want to get the door, the carbon fiber door card deletes. Okay. Some, like the four style ones that they make. And um, with the pull strap? Yeah, with the little pull strap. Okay. Exactly. That's that's what I'm going for. Um, awesome. Just a really minimalistic kind of interior. But tell me about this sticker. What what does this mean? So the rival machine. That's what I had named the car at the beginning. It. I mean, technically now, um, it's just more of a ethos, like a thought process of, you know, you, you go to if you go to a show or you go to a meet or you're gonna go to the track, like you're basically competing. Like it's it's a competition. So to me, it's like it's the rival machine. Like it's it's your rival. It's 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 against everybody it's against itself like i mean at the end of the day like i always think to myself too like you're your only rival like you can you're only competing against yourself but if it's a competition i mean you're obviously competing against everybody else so i just thought that that would be a really catchy name i mean you know it's one of those things that that i've come up with as far as the slogan on the bottom that says no loyalties no idols no hype um no loyalties i used to be part of a car club i kind of don't want to do that ever again um that's just something that i did in my life before i don't want to be loyal to any person any shop anything i'm only loyal to myself no idols i know a lot of people will be like oh your car sells goals or you're my idol i don't look up to anybody i don't expect anybody to look up to me i feel like we're all our individuals and we have all our own goals and our own perspectives on things and i feel like we should all just work towards getting to those goals as far as the no hype thing um, I know the car's gotten a following and I know that some people will be like, hey, what's up, Gabe, whatever. But I, I, I don't strive to believe my own hype to be like, oh, yeah, I'm public figure. So many people on Instagram or on social media or whatever, 
they they get a following and they think they're important and honestly it's made up importance it's not real you right know? like i know who i know in real life and i know the difference that i make in lives at my own my career as a nurse and when I work at work and like those are the important things I think this is a hobby and I think it's great but I will never be better than anybody I won't ever believe my own hype so for the rival machine um, what's the plan of that I mean you're gonna have some custom um, some shirts some stickers so we're, I'm currently coming up with some merch and we're currently gonna come up with um, there's some shirt designs um, the door decal I'm actually getting made in slaps we're gonna do some window visors as well as the vintage H emblem that's on the front of the car. I've gotten requests for those. So um, I'm gonna make a like a big cartel and you'll be able to go there. It'll be rivalmachine.bigcartel.com. Um, so that should be hopefully by the end of the year. Sweet. That's what I'm working on. And um, yeah, you'll be able to get it there. All right, Gabe. Um, thank you so much for spending this, you know, uh, time away from family and, uh, you know, weekend. Um, I, I just want to say thank you so much thank you. No, for thank you making for, the time for, for no, me. Thank you for the time, man. And, um, you know, uh, we, I, I'm definitely going to be waiting for the Rival Machine stickers and all the products that you, you have in plan. And then any other plan that we talked about that yeah, uh, I hope you execute and I hope it's successful. I, I'm sure it will be. I, I, I can't wait. Like, it's, it's, it's time. It's a labor of love and it's time. But it'll get there. I mean, this has taken 10 years, so... <laughs> if I can execute that other stuff, that'd be great too. Thank you. All right, thank you. Think I did shit not gonna